Hello, Zero K fans! This is Shadow Fury 33 with another exhibition match series. Start out with a match between Drone and Lowry. Drone was making was heckling a bit and pointed at my last cast and pointed out some games that he thought would be better suited for casting, so I decided I'd take him up on the offer, which maybe isn't the best way of addressing hecklers, but hey, I got presumably good games to cast, and he's Lowry and Drone. How how can it not be good? It's gonna this is gonna be good. On Red Comet 2, which is at least familiar to them. As I mentioned before, it's not one of my favorite maps, but I've actually it started to grow on me a little bit. I can kind of see where it works as far as how the terrain actually limits things. It's not totally flat, but it could, it could, I don't know. It could use a bit of a pass. I have it's no no big deal going into the art related stuff. A lot of zero K maps could actually use a pass, like SSMF pass, and other stuff like that. That's beside the point, though. The point is. Game should be good to watch, so let us begin. Now we have Lowry in the west side of the map, who is playing heavy tanks, as it's typical. Lowry loves heavy tanks, and going for Kodachi for Kodachi Welder Panther, totally expected opening. And hasn't really worked out their economy build yet. Looks like they're going two metal and then pa power, which is pretty good. Well, not pretty good. That's that's what I'd say you should do. And drone at the center on the right side of the map, going for light vehicles. So yeah, Lowry. I actually saw this last time I saw a comic game was the western player going the southwest and the eastern player going center east. Now I just point out these maps, this map is perfectly symmetric. It's essentially rotational symmetry along the center. I mean, drone's position here, and they're actually making a better use of it than we saw from... Oh, who was it? I'll just double check who that was actually, because I know there was... It was one of the games I very recently casted. Anyway, that game had... Oh yeah, Manu 12, that's what it was. As Manu 12 was on the east side of the map last time, and what they did is they went immediately for these metal extractors after starting in the center. But the problem with that was that they were fighting Flipstip, and Flipstip was assuming they were in the northeast side of the map because the northeast corner is always taken by the eastern player. That's typically what you go for. So Flipstip ended up destroying a lot of Manu's stuff early on. I mean, ultimately Manu won, but it was harder to work with. Drone, on the other hand, is just taking advantage of the fact that this setup basically gives these metal extractors for free. So they might as well take the metal extractors that are harder to get at when there's still time, when Lowry doesn't have a whole lot of raiding forces. Just build a few lasers, or build a few lotuses just to get in the way. And then go back to these free metal extractors because they're already in the territory. It's perfect. And drone sending their commander to the center, same idea, getting that lotus up there just to assert their territory. It's a good idea. Lowry, on the other hand, is actually playing rather defensive, surprisingly, with that Kodachi. I I'm not sure what was going on there, but yeah, Lowry is... Lowry has radar, and Lowry... Okay, they're apparently rather concerned about all these units coming here from Drone. I Means two darts and one Scorcher. Not the biggest concern, but given that Lowry is playing heavy tanks, I'm not surprised. Heavy tanks don't have a whole lot of mobile force, so... It is hard to project a lot of force, compared to light vehicles where they can just send a bunch of small units around the map. And harass here and there. If it's not defended, it's hard to get at, whereas tanks can't easily defend with mobile units, at least at the start of the game. Once they get a good counter of Panthers going, then it's fine, but at the start of the game, not so much. Speaking of Panthers, do have Lowry chasing away some of Drone's forces. These Scorchers are getting out of dodge, but they did their job. I mean, they got rid of Kodachi, and they got rid of a Metal Extractor as well, really slowing down Lowry. At this point, though, Lowry and Drone are basically even. It's not a big concern between the two of them. It's it's really more a matter of Drone has more territory. At this point, Lowry basically hasn't got... There's nothing they can really take advantage of the territory they have. It's a safe start, but expanding from this position is a little bit difficult. Lowry, however, is going for one Walder going to the north, while the commander goes along the south side of the map, which is very typical, and a strong opening, provided that it isn't harassed. It's a strong opening if it's not harassed. It's about two minutes of weakness as these metal extractors are built before, eventually, usually power plants are built on the north side, and Lotus is on top of that. And Panther coming to the center of the map, starting to get its revenge on the Scorchers, but not really able to do so. Nothing, nothing dies. Nothing's died here, but that Panther can't really do much. Drone still has these three mexes, still getting a strong claim on these southeast mexes. These southeast mexes are drones at the moment, and these northeast mexes are drones until the end of the game. The drone owns those, they just haven't taken them yet. They don't need to, and the thing is, that's the thing. Drone has a potential extra three, extra seven metal, or seven and a half metal. Because 
These are actually two and a half metal, or 2.28 metal each. Yeah, extra seven metal. That they haven't even taken yet. And now they're going to take it. So at this point, Drone is going to be getting ahead of Loudry somewhat without being easily harassed. At the same time, is making sure the center is hard to get at. Loudry can take the north side, and Drone realizes the north side is being taken and goes for it. However, the Lotus will be up in time. This Lotus here, that is going to be perfect. This, this Scorcher will have no chance against it. At half health, and even at full health, one Scorcher will not beat the Lotus. Well, it's not very easily. And in this particular position, the Scorcher's going to have no way of diving the Lotus before it gets too much damage. However, that Scorcher could possibly dodge it. Yes, it does just barely manage to dodge it. Panther's chasing after, but one of the melee strategies goes down. However, that Scorcher was too close and died in the explosion. Thus, cutting that rating attempt short, but honestly, that was the best it could have done. There was a Lotus over here, so worked out. Drone pulling ahead, and with these rear metal extractors, Drone just needs to get some power in order to even out. 30 and 27 is not quite right. Once that happens, then Drone is going to be way ahead, while Loudry, on the other hand, now getting the Panthers they need. At this point, four Panthers. Bits a bit clumped up, but it is, at this point, possible, quite possible, for Lowry to push out, push back, and maybe even retake the north side. There's not a whole lot of strong defenses here. One Lotus is about it. I think Drone might be getting a little bit overconfident. Granted, the Panthers haven't come in yet, but that's a big yet. That being said, though, Drone's still making this center or south section no man's land while taking the center north. I mean, Drone is still way ahead on metal, although both Drone and Lowry are accessing metal. Yeah, Drone is way ahead on metal. Lowry needs to build more caretakers. Drone, however, does have caretakers, or at least a caretaker, but needs to build more power plants. Caretakers, no, they don't have the build power, or sorry, they don't have the energy to make that work. And there come the Panthers, now making Drone a little bit uncomfortable. Going up towards the north side, this Lotus here will not last. These Panthers will finish it off quickly. Second Lotus will kind of... Okay, the Panthers are in a great position. Oh, they were in a great position, but unfortunately the weaker ones were getting hit. And Panthers forced retreat. However, Lowry getting up... Uh, getting up a Lotus and then repairing the Panthers afterwards. So once that's... Once those Panthers are repaired, they're going to be going over to the north side once again. And we'll be able to take this out. There are a couple levelers here, which will be problematic, but Panthers won't have too big of a problem, and especially with Reapers coming in as well, Lowry is going for revenge. Lowry wants to get rid of this north side, and it isn't especially well defended. There's a couple... There are a couple Lotuses, but Reaper does not care. The levelers are kind of useful. Ravagers would also be handy, and Dominatrix... Okay, that's... This isn't going to work. I mean, okay, against the Panthers I get to receive, but the Reaper's going to take a lot of time to capture. Not sure it's going to die in the process. It's going to be really tricky to micro around to make that work. But Lowry, Lowry looks to be trying to assault the north side here, and Drone realizes that though Lowry going pretty far north, I think Lowry actually might be trying to skip the north side and go straight into Drone's base. Try to take out the melee extractors that are probably even less well defended being inside the main base, but at this point Drone can still intercept. Lowry realizes this and does pull back, at least for the time being. However, there's the Reaper. And like I said, it will take a while. Getting rid of some of the Lotuses will take a while to capture. So what do you get to 25%? The Dominatrix is not damaged. Though there is a faint possibility of it actually working. It's faint though. I don't know. That's that is gonna be tough. And one of the Panthers does go down, however, stunning out the levelers in the process, and the remaining Panthers can finish off the levelers without issue, and this entire north side, Lowry can destroy it completely. There are some lotuses coming in which will help. But that really won't be enough. And another dom well, a dominatrix goes down. I think that was actually the second one. Well, at least one of the dominatrices has gone down. This ra this reaper has no threats, and these dominatrices are basically flooding in. Drones going pure dommy. That's all they're going for. The panthers are getting repaired once again. However, this is buying drone the time they need in order to build the lotuses. Two lotuses is going to be a bit of a problem for the panthers. Not too much of a problem, but there are three queued. So getting through there is going to be possible, but there are going to be some losses in the process. And Drone also has the Dominatrices, which will pre be really problematic. They're out of position, though, so this north side is very vulnerable. However, one of the Panthers already goes down, and a second one about to get down. All Most of them are at half stun, so one more goes down, and a lot of them will be stunned out like a tick. No, point out there is a gunship switch. Just barely... Well, I did vaguely miss this, but I... It was visible before. However, Brawler is up, and... Lowry, however, does have enough economy to build up 
any necessary anti-air. I mean, they have defenders already, and they will use to be able to get a copperhead. Yeah, they can get those copperhead technically, I don't know, 40 seconds? No, not even 40 seconds. 55 seconds is the normal, and this is on like, about four times, so... Yeah, it's gonna be more like 15. That copperhead will be able to get up. The, bra the brawler's a little bit late. The tough part about brawlers is that when they get, especially the factory, they can lock down. If you don't have anti-air and you don't have a whole lot of a base, it, I mean, at this point, Lowry's pretty well established. They have half the map. I mean, we're getting into the part of the game where it's kind of consolidation. The brawlers can't really lock anything down because that's what the brawler does really well is lock the factories down or lock the commander down, basically make it impossible to work with. However, at the same time, Dominatrix has taken one Reaper, a second Reaper not quite taken yet, but taking Reapers, taking Metal Extractors, and these Reapers... Okay, this Reaper here is at a disadvantage, a massive disadvantage, but this Dominatrix just about to reload, and there we go, starting to get the Reaper once again, and a pair of Dominatrix, he's going for that Reaper. That's two Reapers that Drone is going to take, so the Dominatrix are actually panning out. And, ooh, very close. Almost killed the Dominatrix, but not quite enough, and both Reapers now belong to Drone. However, the Panthers are going to be able to stun them out there. Well, the first one's been heavily damaged. The second one, it'll be tricky, but the Panthers can dodge the shots. Once again, though, we have Dominatrix coming in. One of the Panthers has been taken. Goes down, but that's still a free Panther. Well, not quite free Panther, but that's still a dead Panther. Lowry has one fewer Panther. Drone still has the north side of the map, for the most part. They lost a few Metal Extractors, but overall, they still have the north side of the map. They still have doubled the economy of Lowry. Drone is very much ahead, and I can kind of see why they requested this game, because, yeah, it shows them working pretty well. However, Lowry is still expanding in a reasonable way. It's just, Lowry did go for a safer start, and has now lost the south side. Losing the south side is a big problem. The Dominatrices kind of pushed that back. Lowry's commander was pushing hard on the south side, and now is over to the north side, taking that instead. However, Lowry investing a huge amount into the defenses on the north side, not investing very much into the defenses in their own base as the Reapers have managed to get freed of the Dominator's control, but still, that doesn't mean much. The Copperhead is... where's the cop? Oh, it's over on the north side. Unfortunately, a bit of a poor read on Lowry for the position the drone is going for, and that does mean the Brawler can get the Factory locked down, killing both Caretakers, and will be able to kill the Factory soon after. The Copperhead's doing a number on one of the Brawlers, but the other one's still managing to get a lot of damage in the center. I think Bispar's not going to the Factory, though. Drone, why are you not going to the Factory? That Factory is huge. Lock that down, and it's done. The caretakers are dead, although there are welders. I can see killing those too. But otherwise, I'm not sure. However, getting rid of the Panthers, also a good idea. Well, oh, risky idea, though. The Panthers, well, not quite in range. Okay, so the Brawler can avoid them. And more Brawlers are coming in. I mean, Drone is just streaming them in. There's two more Brawlers coming into the north side, and there are enough defenders to cause some problems, but still going to be tough to deal with. That, that is going to be hard to deal with. North side's pretty well taken by Drone at this point. I mean, one of the Brawlers might... Okay, the razors, the Razor here is going to be helpful, but even then, these Brawlers actually... Well, they're dealing with some damage, but the Dominatrix, Dominatrix are still doing most of the work. At this point, Metal Extract is being grabbed from Lowry, actually contributing more to the damage than the Brawlers are. Admittedly... The Brawlers are really more for broad destruction. I mean, they're for killing swaths of things. Individual targets are actually kind of hard for them to deal with. Still, Drone doing a number with those Brawlers and with the Dominatrix as well. Still getting in there, still getting Reapers coming back in and destroying Drone's base. Sorry, destroying Lowry's base. I think Lowry's going to throw in the towel pretty soon. I mean, the Brawlers are just streaming in. The Dominatrix has actually been switched out for Ravagers, which is, yeah, it doesn't even matter. Drone throws in the towel, that is game! Oh yeah, and I should point out, this is what I spent my weekend doing. So, next time we have a tournament, we will have a proper wins display. That will actually update automatically for the players as they go through the series. So yeah, that, that's a new thing. Currently in the stable, it's actually disabled in the player list, like the win counter widget is a separate widget that actually tracks it, but the display on the player list is disabled, but there should be, the next stable should hopefully have this displayed as a thing that happens the way it just happened here, where when someone has wins, it shows up. Anyway, that was certainly an interesting game. Definitely definitely worked out well for Drone there. I mean, it was fairly even for a while, but yeah, Lowry, I think, over-defended to the north, did not defend enough to the south at the time that they had it, and didn't really prep properly for Dominatrixes. This Dominatrix, that is tough to deal with, we'll admit. But, 
Yeah, that was the thing. That really turned it around, I think. Also, I think Lauder was being a little bit too timid of the Panthers. If they'd gone over here to the north and just attacked, this entire area would have been torn down. Like, Drone would have lost pretty much their entire economy had that happened. Or it's gone straight north, past the defenses, and into the main base. Yeah, Lauder, I think, was playing a little bit too timid, a little bit too defensive, and it did not work out in this case. So I'll have another game for you guys, which will be between Lauri and Kfein, or Kevin, as Flores is calling him. I don't know. Oh, sorry, C21 is actually the name. Kfein is the clan name. I see. Anyway, so yeah, C21 and Lauri, that will be up in about a minute or two. So stay tuned.